if you're looking for car insurance, let me give you a tip right now. If you can wait seven days, most insurance companies will give you a tip. So that means you start calling around today. You need to have your current insurance should go at least until next week. That way you can request a seven day bonus for calling and getting that premium. Yeah, man. And that tip can be huge. Swing it and bang it on the ones and twos. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I'm Kendrick Avant, your professor of gratitude, because every day I'm with you and I'm reminding you to write down the stories why you're grateful so you have less negative thoughts and you are a better person, a better parent, a better spouse, a better teacher. This is all about self-help. And the number one way that you can improve yourself is by being aware and conscious of what is going good. You do that by writing out these why stories. Every single day, write out at least three. That's why you're rocking with the University of Gratitude. Day number 30, and I damn near want to roll my neck. I am going to roll my neck as I introduce the special today, National Guacamole Day. Hold up. Yesterday, we kicked things off because it is officially Hispanic Heritage Now Month. That means for 30 days, you can talk about Hispanic heritage, bring that into the classroom, bring that onto your sales floor, let people know and invest in what's going on with the culture right there. And on top of that, dog, guacamole is just good as hell, man. So National Guacamole Day, get that thing homemade, stop by the store if you need to, share it with the kids, tell a story about guacamole. Make sure you include that doggone fresh lime juice in the cilantro. If you're not working with this fresh lime juice, you really can't tell me nothing about it. National Guacamole Day. Get your guacamole on and let people know. So I got my three gratitudes for y'all. And my number one gratitude today is that I will not be running the Peru Ayahuasca Room this Saturday. Alert, alert, alert. I am not doing it. I got I ain't gonna tell y'all about that later. I'm grateful to announce this because I control my own appearances. This is one of the things I wanna do with my job. And since I want to be my own speaker, let me go ahead on and announce that me as a speaker is not gonna be around. That pumps my own head up. Even more important, dog, I'm happy I'm getting out the house. My brother has a birthday party and that means I get to get out the house to somebody else's house Still move around in the wheelchair and show these people just exactly how good I'm doing. Sure, give everybody else a real good time because y'all know I'm bringing the gratitude trying to wherever I go. Gratitude number two. So my daughter sent me a text message today. I know, I know, I know. Kids shouldn't text messages in class and whatever. Dog, she sent a text message to the, to, to the family group. It's a kid in her classroom that got upset and threw a chair. The chair didn't hit my damn daughter. Man, if I could still walk, you have no idea. I would be up there at that school, leaving my school and doing whatever it takes. I'm beat down doors, whatever it is. But in this new persona, in this calm version of Kendrick, Kendrick who is now a communicator and understands love languages and everything else. Instead, I am grateful that she is okay. That's number one. Grateful she is good. I'm grateful that she could actually text message me. Yo, that gives me a sense of pride because even though I'm in this wheelchair, damn it, I want my kids always able to communicate with me for times just like this, man. Y'all know it's 2022. You never know what the hell may pop off at the damn me public school, anywhere the public school is. So to hear that she's got hit with a chair and Regardless, man, we got that settled, got that taken care of. She is good, got into the house early. I wanted to use Uber, but of course, Uber doesn't want to come pick me up and deal with the wheelchair. And then of course, the damn Uber guy or Uber person cannot go inside this classroom or the schoolhouse and sign my kid out. I don't even want that possibility available to me. So yeah. Either way, she's home, she's good. A damn chair, man. I've been in the I've been in the classroom before. 
I've seen shit like that pop up. I've been in the classroom before. I have not reported shit like that popping up. Made sure everybody was good. Either way, my daughter is now home. Gratitude number three. It's another example of a cheesy gratitude. Taking that one thing, but split it up in, into two. I couldn't go get my daughter because of Uber. My wife has works all works that old night shift. She couldn't make make the drive. My eldest is on the is on the group feed and right away sent a couple of jokes and everything. She's like, yo, I'm on my way to, to come get you, sis. Because let me put up this real cool meme about, you know. Avengers Unite, you know, Family Unite. I sent a cool ass meme. I don't know if they're gonna laugh at it or not, but I sent a cool ass meme. That whole thing just turned from the fear, the concern, the worry, to knowing she could come home, knowing we got her, knowing my eldest is going to go get her so she at least has somebody there to deal with the event. Boom, got it all settled. She's here, everything is all good now. What an amazing day, I mean, uh, Friday it has been, yikes. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Remember, these gratitudes are going to put you in a better place. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute each and every last one of you on a Friday. This is day number 30. Day number 30 of the Teacher Gratitude Journal. I'm out. It is time to stop waiting on somebody else to teach you, to make you, to motivate you, to inspire you to be a better person. You can do it yourself by picking up a gratitude journal and writing down why you're grateful every single day. That will cost you nothing. There's no complaining about prices. There's no complaining about who's available. There's no complaining about if they are compatible with you. Get yourself a gratitude journal. Start writing this stuff out. Take the steps to be better. You.